China, one of the fastest growing economies, depends on water. The country's 1.43 billion people and booming industry depend on limited and unevenly distributed water. Water shortages threatened the very life of the Chinese nation in 2005, according to former Chinese PM Wen Jiabao. China is facing a water deficit due to climate change. Massive water projects are being built to address this deficit, creating additional environmental, social, and geopolitical issues. China possesses 6% of the world's freshwater yet 20% of the population. According to 2014 World Bank data, each person has 2,018 cubic meters of renewable water per year, 75% less than the global average. Causes of the water shortage crisis in China Climate change causes China's water deficit. The Qinghai Tibetan Plateau, nicknamed the Third Pole, provided glacier meltwater to civilizations along the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers for millennia. Since global warming has raised the glacial region's temperature by 3 to 3.5 degrees Celsius over the previous half-century, the ice mass can no longer replace glacial melt with fresh snow and ice. In 2018, Greenpeace found that 82% of China's glaciers had receded, and 20% of the ice cover had vanished since the 1950s. Since the 1990s, glacier runoff into the Yangtze has dropped 13.9%, reducing freshwater availability. Greenpeace expects the shortfall to become dramatically severe when glaciers reach peak water, when water consumption exceeds supply, as early as 2030. Rising temperatures have altered atmospheric circulation. Humid summer monsoons have trouble reaching northern and inland locations, resulting in unpredictable rainfall patterns. Beijing saw no precipitation from October 2017 until February 2018. The 116-day drought is a national record. Resource inequality worsens scarcity. South China has 80% water, yet the North drives national development. In 2014, President Xi Jinping's Jing Jin Ji project combined Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei into a megalopolis to compete with the New York Tri-State Area. According to the China Statistical Yearbook CSY, the three provinces' annual water use per person is below 184 cubic meters, significantly below the 500 cubic meter benchmark of water scarcity. The total population of the region is 130 million. The North lacks water, and development is increasing demand. Inefficient water management and widespread water pollution have left certain regions in China unable to deliver adequate consumable water, even without considering future urbanization. The Solutions to the China Water Shortage Crisis The South North Water Transfer Project SNWTP, is China's most famous water program to increase water availability in dry regions. The largest and most expensive engineering project in the country, it is anticipated to cost $62 billion by 2050, almost double the Three Gorges Dam project. Its conception dates back to the 1950s. The SNWTP uses 1,500-kilometer canals to bring water from the Yangtze River to northern China to solve its water crisis. Since 2013 and 2014, the east and middle routes, which took 10 years to complete, have transferred 20.9 billion cubic meters of water annually. The west route should finish by 2050. New environment problems. Construction damages natural areas nationwide, causing biodiversity loss. The east route raises the water levels of the four lakes it goes through. All three routes will drastically alter natural hydrology. A 2009 research predicted a 0.25 million ton loss in aquatic vegetation in Dongping Lake due to the east route building. Freshwater clams, whitebaits, and algae are harmed. Chinese water plants have killed local species before. The Three Gorges Dam's construction in the last decade irreversibly altered the Yangtze's scenery, harming the Beijing dolphins' habitat and making them functionally extinct by 2006. 
The same study warns of southern aquatic species invading northern waters due to rising global temperatures, jeopardizing the biodiversity of water-receiving regions. Alligator weed, water hyacinth, and water lettuce have overrun Shandong province north of China, according to 2017 research. Water diversion aids invasion. A 10-year research on the middle route's climatic effects predicts that the sudden water flood will increase convection, short, strong rain, and modify the region's hydrology and environment. Researchers expect regional microclimate to change as the investigation develops due to rain patterns. Social conflict and political instability. The project's diversion of natural resources to one megaregion threatens the southern water supplying region's social well-being and China's stability. China's local water disputes sparked 2001's block dam incident. Jiangsu industry has poisoned Zhejiang's water since the 1990s. Zhejiang residents sank boats to block unclean water, protesting the province's poor resource management. Regional turmoil from the SNWTP could undermine national governance. Moving 330,000 people expands the middle route Donjongko Reservoir. China Daily reported that displaced persons protested immigration officials and blocked major roads owing to low wages and job prospects. China, North Korea, and the Soviet Union adopted forced displacement to maximize state goals while limiting individual liberties. Large protests follow forced evictions in most Chinese infrastructure projects. Glacial melt and precipitation sustain southern China's Yangtze Basin. As Himalayan glaciers recede and extreme weather occurs, southern China may face water insecurity. Southwest China's 2011 drought disrupted 60 million people's drinking and irrigation water. The SNWTP pulls moisture from the Yangtze River and limits river discharge, causing groundwater to decrease and seawater to migrate onshore in dry seasons, contaminating Yangtze Delta freshwater aquifers. Military implications and international relations. China's water policy worries Southeast Asians. China's rivers begin regionally. Western China's Tibetan Plateau to Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, and Myanmar as the Mekong. China, Bangladesh, and India share the Brahmaputra. China's upstream alterations can dramatically affect downstream water. China fears international water management agreements because it may control regional water supplies. China's rivers provide water without warfare. The West Route includes transboundary rivers like the Mekong, New River, and Brahmaputra, but China unilaterally implements the SNWTP without consulting impacted countries. The research found that physical opposition would be military aggression. Thus, these countries must consent to preserve regional peace and water sovereignty. West route planning worries residents. India's media was alarmed by China's Red Flag River project in late 2017. Despite the scheme, India doubted China's water consumption. China's mining in Loons County and increasing military expansion in Ladakh have raised border tensions since the 1962 Sino-Indian War. By August 2019, the two countries held 21 Boundary Dispute Special Representative meetings. The huge water diversion project may cause resource disputes. China's SNWTP is a short-term solution that prevents the government from addressing artificial issues and raises new international problems. Experts advocate increasing water prices and water management to maximize water use. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.